And how did the people in Dumas, as far as the Christians there, how did they treat you once you got back down there when they saw the show that I love so much? It's, you know what? It's all love. I, I, I heard I, I heard no negative comments. It's all okay, love and support. Everybody's up. happy that I'm doing it. You know, a few people are happy that I'm doing it that, that have admitted that I, I cannot watch the show, Slink. I yeah. cannot. And to them, I say, you know, again, I'm going to please, I implore you to watch the show. If not, you know, I understand I'm not mad. Right. You know, but... When you can watch it, and, and, and for those, I, I've had some people who I thought were hardcore, cr hardcore Christians, mm -hmm. who I thought of as hardcore Christians and devout Christians. I've had them come to me and say, "Man, I love that show." I had a couple of them say, "I can't really say it too loud, you know," but I love the show. I get the message. You know what I'm saying? So. To them, man, you know. I didn't want to watch it at first because I was believing the hype, and then just one day I, I you couldn't find the remote. You, you thought you was gonna watch it and turn to a pillar of salt, huh? Not I'm gonna go to hell right now. <laughs> Not <laughs> really. I just I just allowed that, but I couldn't find a remote because I never can. And I was watching it, and I was like, you know what? This show is funny as hell. So I ordered my DVD. Then I got you the sad, uh -huh. <laughs> and um, yeah. I've been on ever since. I so, want to say God bless my grandmother. God bless her soul. She passed away in 2013. She never got to saw the. She got never got to see the show. She's one of the most devout Christians I ever knew. She up there with Mother Teresa, if you ask me. God bless her soul. My grandmother Ruth Johnson. Um, she didn't get to see the show, man. And but yeah, I think about her, and I think about how how you know into it she is. And at the end of the day, I'm sure that even though she might not have agreed with my portrayal of Jesus, she supported me as her grandson. Mm -hmm. She supported me as an artist. So you know, she I, all my cuss word, all my music. She didn't like none of my music and cuss words, but right. she had my CDs. She exactly. had them. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, to all the devout Christians, man, I just say give it a shot, man. Cause why you over here? See again, you pointing fingers and you condemning me. And you know, let he he who without sin cast the first stone. Right. You know, don't condemn me. And you know, you smoking crack. Don't condemn me. You know, you getting fucked in the ass by a big buff ass Damn. man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Don't condemn me when you know you doing shit. Don't right. condemn me. You, you shouldn't say shit about another nigga at all. Exactly. When you know you're not living 100% on the line. Definitely. You're not living 100% breathing that. You're not breathing in, in, in Christ every minute. Don't don't condemn another motherfucker for what they do. <laughs> Dig that. Yeah. Smoke yours, nigga. <laughs> so so when they ask you when they ask you to um do Black Jesus, what was your first thoughts? Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. At the end of the day, you know, this is what I do for a living. Yeah. It was a dope project. It was a dope concept. And for me to be able to walk in from the beginning, like I told Anissa, it, it, there wasn't no script. There wasn't no uh, auditions. This was written for me. Mm -hmm. And the man gave me an opportunity to do me and be me. It don't get no... Look here, I'm in a... I'm in a prime position in my life and my career. I meet a lot of stand-up com comedians because I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm diving into stand-up comedy as well. And I meet a lot of stand-up comedians who've been comedians for years, working comedians. And they always tell me, congratulations, my nigga, you got a show. I mean, I got I jumped out the gate with a show. Some mm -hmm. of these guys, very funny guys, don't get me wrong, very funny guys that I really love and respect. They craft, I really do. They haven't made it there, you know, for whatever reason, I know that I'm blessed. Yeah. So I got an opportunity to get a vehicle where Aside from the wig and the robe, I'm pretty much being myself. A lot of that is, you know, again, he wrote that around me. I, he didn't, uh, he didn't, he sat up and watched me, watched me, listened to me talk. You know what I'm saying? It kind of like picked my brain and then started writing the script. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's a hell of an opportunity to be able to come in on that platform. And again, shout out to Aaron Magruder, Robert Wise, Jason Van Veen, Mike Clattenburg, uh, uh, my man, uh, Fucking uh, uh, Walt Newman over there at Adult Swim, Lazo, uh, Keith Crawford, all the people over at Adult Swim that 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 believe in me and believe in this vision. I thank you so much, Charlie Murphy. I work with everybody and we cool. You know, after that, you know, everybody going about their life. You right. know, don't get me wrong. I run into them and it's cool. You know, it's always love. But Charlie, even during the off season, Charlie calls me. He checks up on me. That's you know what I'm saying? Charlie's that's a good dude. Up. I really got a lot of love. What a blessing. And that's a dream come true. I work with Charlie Murphy. I'm Rick James, bitch. Right. I work with the nigga, you know what I'm saying, who, who not just that, Charlie's been doing things way before that, and Charlie has a, a huge body of work that a lot of people aren't really hip to. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They don't understand how deep Charlie is. You know what I'm saying? I'm just so glad to see Charlie getting his just due.
In fact, my homeboy Snoop smoked some bomb ass weed. I but I live in California too. I smoke the same good weed he smoked, but he mm -hmm. smokes more of it. Snoop mm -hmm. smokes a lot of it. And for a lot of people, y'all know my first time. I was mesmerized by the fact that I'm smoking with Snoop. So that right. so you know his whole mystique and his whole aura is part of what's gonna get you high too, just being there with him. <laughs> right. his, his whole aura, his whole mystique, everything, you know. But he has ties to Arkansas too, doesn't I yeah, think yeah. it's like Texarkana, Arkansas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has ties there. He mentioned that before, yeah. He mentioned that to me before. I want to see you on the Martha Stewart and Snoop show. I want cooking. to see me on the Martha Stewart and Snoop. You heard that, Snoop? Folks want to see your boy on the Martha Stewart What's show, up? Snoop show, man. <laughs> Hey, so up. so tell me that what kind of you just talked about you gonna bring potentially Snoop to Arkansas? You fuck with Snoop, you fuck with a lot of major people. What kind of plan do you think that we can put together to make some shit happen for Arkansas with Slink? Involved with it, you know what I'm saying? Well, there, there'll be a lot of things like to you, Lil Rock Obama, and to, to my Rota Style Click. Again, this is my home state. People don't understand. I do not turn my back on Arkansas. I might not know everybody here or everything about Arkansas, but this is my home state. So I give niggas in Arkansas, like Anissa called me. We were Facebook friends, but we never spoke prior to this. She called me. She said, I got a show. I want you to do my show. Cool. I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm here to get paid. Don't get me wrong. My main objective is to get paid. However, I'm willing to help out people, you know what I'm saying, who, who are attempting to help themselves. So my, what I can do, anything you guys need, Arkansas artists, get at me. If you need, you know, anything I can do to help, I will. But I'm not going to be breaking my neck to help you. you. To help you, you have to help, help yourself. yourself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you, I, 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 all I can do is put your CD in somebody's hand. I can't make Snoop listen to it. I can't hear this is a dope CD I got from Arkansas. That's all I can do, and I did my part. Right. You know what I mean? But whatever, as far I, I'm going to be working with the Hood Nick Committee on Hood Nicks, and mm -hmm. I'm going to be more integ integrally, integrally involved yeah. with the Hood Nick, the planning of, and not just the show part, but the planning of. And again, we're going to overhaul this whole shit because, no disrespect, I'm a country ass nigga, so I feel like I can say this this country ass shit, we're going to stop this. Mm -hmm. All this old in and out. You know what I'm saying? That's like like the like the event. We ain't doing the in and outs no more. You pay the ticket to get in, yo, you take your dog ass out, you're gonna have to buy another <laughs> ticket. That's what kills a lot of them because they come in, don't see nobody there, and they leave. But in the course of the night, everybody's come and do the same thing. Right. Why don't you come and stay? You know what I mean? And one thing about Dumas that pissed me off is the fact that all oh, they move the hood and they cross the tracks. What? Across the tracks! You punk! Low down, dirty motherfucker, you'll spend a whole gallon, a whole fucking gas tank riding around these old eight ass, funky ass blocks on the <laughs> west side. But you can't go across the fucking tracks. Oh man, the laws be. Man, put your drink down for two minutes. Right. Put the weed down for two minutes, nigga, and go across the track. Yeah. Across the tracks. Across like the fucking. Like walking across the track? It's literally. the black side and the white side. The black side and the white oh. side. The white, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And literally, I'm not, not even three miles. Not even two miles. This Dumas is how big? How big? About four miles around? Four, yeah, yeah, four yeah. five miles. Dumas the city about four, five miles in radius. I don't know. It's small. It ain't ten miles. And you know, you got to, come on, man. You got to venture out. Look here. Artists, you want to blow up and do things? You got to get out. People, you want to see nice shit? You got to get out. Slink not coming to your house. I'm from Dumas, but I'm not coming to your house. I'm finna do the Brookhaven Plaza, and I'm getting the fuck on. You can pull up on Slink, though. You can pull up on me when I come to the city. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, it's not coming to you. You want good shit. Oh, it ain't nothing to do around here. Yes, it is. Your punk asses don't come out the house. <laughs> Get your ass out the house and go live some life, man. You know, I mean, all the little people, you know, the country shit, man. I don't fuck with that person. I love Arkansas, man. I just hate the division amongst all these people. It's just a small state. Right. And if you've been somewhere and lived somewhere in the metropolitan area, you know hate is on. There's levels to this shit. Mm -hmm. And I say, at this small state we live in, man, let's let's embrace and support each other, man. And please, please stop all this hating, naysaying, all this disdain, all this fucking down talking about people, man. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on. I could easily got on TV and never mention Arkansas again. I could easily did it because yeah. most people I know, I've been in California since I was a little boy. Most people think I'm from LA. Right. But I feel it in me is I feel it's I'm obligated to you know I need I need I need light on this state. I need right. people to see this motherfucker, all the talent. Not just me, but all this talent that's here in Arkansas. It's so much. It's amazing talent. And it's and it's enough 
support here where you can blow up in Arkansas, but we need people to really show the support and stop all the division, stop all the separation. Mm -hmm. stop. Gang banging in Arkansas is the dumbest shit ever to me. Yeah. How you going to gang bang with a nigga you was in third grade with? <laughs> you been going to this, you been knowing this nigga forever, and now all of a sudden you 19, 21, you a blood, he a crip, you a GD, he a vice lord, and you going to shoot the nigga. You been knowing this nigga, you know his mama, you drank Kool-Aid at this nigga house. That's the stupidest <laughs> shit ever, man. I swear to God, fuck you, dude. Uh, Little Rock, fuck you, uh, uh country ass gangbangers. Fuck y'all, man. <laughs> Stop shit, all the division. Man. Stop all of the hate, man. Come on, man. And to the people that support. You know what? I'm finna stop talking about these haters. I'm gonna talk about the supporters, man. Shout out to the people that really support that. Because a lot of people do buy tickets. A lot of right. people do buy CDs. A lot of people want to see you well. You know what I'm saying? And I shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? Get your money, man. Ain't that to say for the people in Little Rock that look down on people in the surrounding areas? Yeah, no, you in, you in the I capital. Love the small town. You're in the capital, man. But come on, man. Your shit still close up at 12, too. Right. Ain't nowhere to get no food at 2 o'clock in the on, morning. Man. No soul food and no chicken or nothing. I just, you know, and that's why when I come down here, you know, motherfuckers think I'm for the kick it in Little Rock. No, I'm kicking kick it in Dumas. Cause that's I, what's I, up, I, I really want to, you know, I, I fuck with Little Rock too, don't get me wrong, but my, my family's in Dumas and, you know, I come to Little Rock, I handle my business and shit, you know, like doing this here. I got a couple other appointments to take care of. And, you know. Shout out to Dumas, man. I fuck with Dumas. Shout out to L. Norm, man. For real, for real. L. Norm, the franchise. What yeah. nigga, Leron? I remember when the nigga name was Leron and he had a little puffy little curl fro. <laughs> I remember when a nigga wore tough skins, man. When that nigga, <laughs> shout out to El Norm, the franchise, my real nigga from day one, yeah. Central Elementary. That's Reed my dude, Elementary. man. Yeah, that's El Norm, me and uh, in Dallas. I was really headed to Dallas, like right now, to Vertico, but I don't think it was meant for me to go because we couldn't get a rental car done. D tags expired. I was like, God must be saying, don't yeah, go. Yeah, well, don't, don't, don't fight it too hard. I ain't. I'm here. I'm in here fucking with y'all. Yeah, we ride it together, little Rocco. You know what I'm saying? Bring nothing for me to smoke. So, oh, that man. is on the way. You better come on, because I only got a little while. I got my flight for the leave in a little what's while. What's on your flight leave? In a little while. And I got a few people to see before I go. Okay, we got you. Well, what's in that vape? This is just uh, this is just e-cigarette. Oh, know, okay. You know, I really like to vape, because I just like to blow clouds. You know, I don't like You don't cigarettes. know how to do any tricks on there? No, I don't do no tricks. I don't do tricks with my mouth. <laughs> I'm not talking about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I really am excited. I am so grateful and thankful that you're here. I am too. Thank you, baby. I have one question though. When you first saw yourself on TV, what did you think? When you first saw that, what I mean, was it surreal? How did you feel? Did you like you go, oh boy? What what'd you do? It was surreal as a motherfucker. When I first saw it come on at the time, like I I, I saw it, you know, I saw it, but once it came on TV, on right. broadcast TV. It was very surreal to see, and looking at it, I, I knew it was me, but it didn't look real. It didn't look like a television program. It looked like some shit I shot myself because it's me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it was very surreal, like, damn. And when the commercial the commercial came on, that really fucked me up. Yeah. Like, again, I saw it. You know, I saw the footage. I, you know, I saw the dailies and different things about that. So I can see it in the editing process. But once actually seeing it, and again, uh, it came out August 7th. I believe August 7, 2014 mm -hmm. yeah. was the debut date. Mm -hmm. And me being a worry ward, I'm like, damn. All the way up until it came on 11 o'clock at night. Watch, they gonna care. Watch, they gonna watch. You know what I'm saying? You know how I be like, man, that shit. It, it was too good to be true. Yeah. 11 o'clock came. So you was thinking like the whole time, this ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. I, can't, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? It's too good to be I'm true. I'm confident. Yeah, yeah. It's, too good, it's too good to be true, man. Watch, <laughs> something always gonna happen. But the shit came. And you know, again... <laughs> Uh, shout out to everybody to support Aaron McGruder, Adult Swim, Mike Clattenburg, everybody. <clears throat> thank you so much, man. And not only did it come out, it was a hit. Yeah. People dug it. Number one show on Adult Swim two years in a row. Thank you so much, man. And and, and it's and it's still surreal to me. You know what I'm saying? To to, to get the love like from y'all, I, I get goosebumps. I got goosebumps just just y'all holding the show in such high reverence as you do. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much, and it, and it's just and it's just amazing. It's just it's, it's Man, always amazing. I think even God and Jesus laugh at the show. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. They got a sense of him. That's the other exactly. part. That's the other part about it. That's the other part about it. I was gonna say, Little Rock Obama, you cannot think that God does not have a sense of humor because if He put it in us, exactly, He has it. Exactly. You know, I think down here in the in the, in the Delta. 
down here in Arkansas, you know, we was raising these sanctified churches and mm -hmm. we got this fire and brimstone idea. God, don't play with him. Yeah. He gonna kill you. Don't. No, he put that in us. God understands a joke better than anybody yeah. else. Yeah. If he didn't understand, if God know how to joke, because if he didn't, I would know how to play basketball. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He you made a joke. He made a tall guy. Because yeah. 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 you know everybody want to ask you that. If you nah. tall, do you play basketball? While I should have been playing, while I should have been playing small forward for the Dumas Bobcats, I was playing left pistol for the Inglewood Carjackers. Oh <laughs> man, <laughs> real honey. Real shit. Real shit. What's next, man? What's next, man? I got a project called um, Black Man's Guide to History, starring and produced by Kevin Hart, and it should mm. be coming to the uh, History Channel. Oh, cool. Um, it's a comedic view of some lesser known black figures in history. Awesome. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I got an opportunity to play one of the roles, and I'll shout out to Kevin Hart, man. Great dude. Kevin is really giving a lot of people opportunity, man. And I, I really got a lot of respect and love for Kevin Hart. Shout out to Kevin Hart, man. So I got that coming up. Again, Black Jesus Season 3 is yes. coming. Hold your horses. Wait. That's coming. <laughs> uh, I'm still down to All Deaf Digital. We're shooting sketches all the time. All the time. And uh, I got the Smoke Yours crew. I'm doing stand-up comedy. Okay, I'm doing stand-up comedy uh, every other week at the Ice House Comedy Club in Pasadena, California. I'm doing satellite dates all over. Promoters, you want to book your boy Slink Johnson to come down, host your event, do comedy? Book Slink Johnson at gmail.com. Book Slink Johnson at gmail.com. Um, shit, or you can reach out to my manager, Evan Silverberg, uh, at uh, Management 360. Google it, Evan Silverberg, Management 360. Um, and you can always, oh yeah, I can't forget to smoke yours, crew. Y'all make sure y'all yes. get to smoke yours, What's crew. What's up, Apparel and, uh, see all you, d Lewis. See all you, you black ass shirt, nigga. boy. <laughs> make sure y'all get to smoke yours, crew gear at smokeyourscrew.bigcartel.com. Smokeyourscrew.bigcartel.com. Follow my Instagram page, all my social networks, Slink Johnson. Hit me up, man. Hey, what's the uh, social media, man? You got any social media? All my social networks. Well, right now, I'm really rocking Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, at Slink Johnson. Slink, S-L-I-N-K-J-O-H-N-S-O-N. -S One of them Johnson boys. My daddy right here, here and there. What's up, nigga? You got some weed? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a delivery man. <laughs> What's up? This DJ Dundee, man, the hottest DJ in the state right here. DJ Dundee, yeah. bad tags. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's him. Damn it. That's him. Well, we gonna get ready to take a uh, quick break, right quick, and I'm gonna just play a little um, Notorious B.I.G. because I love him so oh, much. Baby, and baby. I'm I'm still stuck in the air, that's you know. Him. So we'll be back in just a second.